He was pretty impressive. Crook? Yeah. He's got a great arm. You know, he's got a great arm. He, I think he had seven wild pitches the other day. Yeah. It was, part of it was because it was so sloppy. Um, you know, the, the rain was falling pretty good out there. I think we had Eugene weather there, only about 30 degrees warmer. But he threw a few balls, um, just got away from the catchers and stuff like that in the dirt. Just was really kind of a sloppy mush pit there at home plate. But yeah. He's got great stuff. He's tough to hit. He'll have his good and bad there. He was pretty good though the other day. How about Spencer kind of taking his opportunity? Um, you know, I think the other day when Jordan threw in Hawaii, it was probably his worst outing we've seen this year. Um, it's been pretty spectacular. All fall and then all spring, he was uh, maybe even our most consistent arm. And, uh, and then he went out to Hawaii, and I don't know, I mean, if it was nerves or what, what, what it was, but he didn't throw as well as we've seen him throw. So it was kind of a, uh, caught us off guard a little bit. I'm sure it caught him off guard, but he, he threw good enough to win. We didn't play great defense behind him. Um, but nevertheless, it was, it was probably his worst outing that we'd seen. Yeah. yeah. What was kind of your, your whole takeaway on the four games of Hawaii to, to get started? Would you bring back? Um, probably the best thing we did all weekend was bench play. Um, our bench play was fantastic. Um, J.B. Bryant, amongst others. It didn't matter if it was him or Connor Hoffman or um, A.J. Balta. We had a couple of different uh, opportunities where there were game-winning hits from our bench players. And I thought they all played outstanding coming off the bench defensively when they got their opportunities. I think that was probably the best thing we did. Um, you know, we got four wins, most importantly. That was the best part about the trip. Um, and our best game that we played was the last game that we played. It looked like we hadn't been on a field, which I guess we hadn't been on a field before we left a whole heck of a lot. And it really didn't look like it. Uh, it was kind of a first two and a half games, three games were, uh, first two games especially, were really sloppy. Third game was probably the exclamation point with the weather being as bad as it was and uh, the sloppiness just on both sides. It, was, it wasn't clean the whole time. Ground ball outs, fly ball outs were turned into errors in big innings, or innings at least, and it was a little bit loose for both clubs. Um, you know, the final game came out. I think we clearly played our best game. Um, maybe it was nerves, whatever. I don't know what it exactly it was, but we did play our best game on the fourth game. We put together a real quality effort all the way around, and uh, we walked off the rock with four wins, which is a tough place to do that with. You mentioned solid bench play. How important is that for you guys this year to keep that going and the depth and all that? I mean, we, we talk about it a lot in terms of having toughness off the bench and, and being ready to play. And obviously, Coach Horton's uh, program's always been about you know being ready, being prepared uh, for the opportunity, what's in front of the guys. And just you know, this weekend, the players made the coaching staff look good with the ones who came off the bench and so forth and the kids that had an opportunity. Uh, it was really spectacular. The quality at bats, uh, you know, when we were uh, – Defensively, the guys that came off the bench, they, they were fantastic. And so how crucial is it? I think very crucial for this club, especially playing in PK Park where games are you know, usually pretty tight and the bench uh, bench play usually comes into play seventh, eighth, and ninth innings. Is that kind of production what you expected from this group of guys? Uh, we're confident in our group all the way around. Um, and so, yes. Now, to that level, I think it was pretty extreme, and I hope they can continue to do that. Um, hitting 700 or 800 off the bench is pretty exceptional. And so hopefully they can continue to do that. That'd be nice. What you, would you see from some of the younger guys? You know, AJ and Austin both had some pretty good hits in the second game. What did you kind of see from them and Jack Kruger? I think all the freshmen we saw, there were bits of nerves. And there was uh, really, uh, they showed some, some really plus outings too. Um, all the freshmen, including Matt Crook, you know. Uh, not easy for a freshman to go out there. And the first ball that he throws out there, I think ended up being an error. And he battled his way through the outing where, you know, he was on the ground quite a bit. And I don't know if we played fantastic baseball behind him. He probably could have had quite a few. Uh, he probably could have gone complete game had we played clean defense behind Matt for his uh, first college outing. It was pretty spectacular. Can you for talk about the battery?